Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video. I got, this is Tuesday, or is this Monday? This is uh, Monday. Yeah, this is only Monday. I got Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday I go ahead and get my arm looked at again. See what the, what it's, uh, that's a little update on my arm anyway. It's feeling pretty good. I never had my hand turn so many orange and stuff though. Turns different colors. They said that's normal. <laughs> For an arm operation, your hand to turn color sometimes. But one of these days when we get these holes in my ceiling fixed, it's gonna be on my list. But not today, because I gotta get my arm working better. Anyway, uh, that video's not about my arm. It's gonna be about the Kansas City Chiefs. And how they always remind me of uh, Hulk Hogan. Remember Hulk Hogan back in the 80s and, 7, and 90s when he was wrestling? And uh, the Chiefs are just like it. That's why I always say that it could be rigged. <laughs> the wrestling, you know, Hulk Hogan, they did a lot of jumping around, smacking each other and stuff. And once in a while there'd be an injury because they're doing their routine and their show, you know, putting on their show. I don't know how good this video is looking, but it's kind of dark on my face. Maybe I'll raise my hat up a little bit. This is my old hat I ran around when I was a teenager. The old beaver skin uh, Stetson. <laughs> Riverman's hat. It's not a cowboy hat, really. It's a riverman's hat. Riverman hat, they called it. It's a pretty good hat, though. It, take, it repels water real good. Anyway, uh, you remember Hulk Hogan? How he'd get out there and smack some people around a little bit, and then he'd, then he'd uh, get beat up a little bit. That's how the Chiefs are doing, you know. They get out there and they play a few good plays on their first drive or so, and then the other team kicks their butt a little bit, and make some big plays against them and uh give me a cup of drink drink of my coffee with a little bit of milk in it but uh that'd be cool to have that in picture i won't put it in there <laughs> the chiefs though you know i liked last the game they played they it was a tough pretty good game for them they script that one really good. No, it could all be real, but I just comparing it to wrestling, you know. It's like four rounds of wrestling or something. But the, then the Hogan gets down, you know, and they get him they get on his back and they're choking on him and stuff and he's just falling asleep. He's falling asleep, like, and the ref's pulling up his arm. And that's like the Chiefs getting ha halftime or losing or something. I don't know if they was or not. I can't remember. But then after halftime, they, they're they choked down. And the ref's lifting up the Chiefs' arm, the Hogan, Hogan's arm. Like the Chiefs, they come out and do some plays. And, and uh... They'll make a good play downfield. It's like Hogan raising, the ref raising his arm and his arms lays up for a little bit and it falls slowly. They're slowly going down the field. And then, <laughs> then they do a big play all of a sudden and the ref raises Hogan's arm and his arm stays up and his finger's pointing up in the sky. And uh, he starts shaking. And the Chiefs start doing a little better. Start making a few short good runs and plays. They're going down the field, and Hogan's standing up. He's shaking, he, and he's starting to rip his shirt off, and, th and then they throw a pass to Kelsey, Chiefs do, and they make a right down by the goal line. I mean, they're right there. So they got to put their running back in and try to make a play. So he's ripping off his shirt, and he starts dancing around, the, the stomping around and stuff. And then one of the Chiefs running backs runs a play and gets right up there to the goal line. Don't quite make it. That's when the Hogan's running around the, the ring and the other guy smacks him one more time. 
and then he stands up like this and he looks around at the crowd and he turns around real slow and faces that guy. It's like the Chiefs getting lined up for their next big play. And then they'll either hand it off or throw it to Kelsey or Hopkins or one of their – and they'll, they'll make a touchdown. And it's just like Hogan, he'll, he'll uh, turn around, rip his shirt off, and then go after that guy, body slam him or throw him out of the ring or something, and the fight would be over. But last night it was a, a dunk on the goal post for the Chiefs. It's like the pin. They pinned him, you know. And the game and the, it was over. The fight was over then. That's the way I compare the Chiefs to wrestling and Hulk Hogan. That's what it all reminds me of. So, hope you like this video. If you want to see some more of this kind of video, uh, you never know what I'm going to talk about on my channel. It's actually a... a I got a lawn landscape business was mainly about and I do some tree work that's what got my arm hurt if anybody don't know I hurt my arm doing tree work I was up in my bucket truck and I busted my bicep tendon I had it put back together about a week and a half later and now it's been about three weeks so it's been almost four weeks since I hurt my arm and I'm going in Wednesday to get it looked at. But that's my comparison to Hulk Hogan and the Kansas City Chiefs. I hope you guys like my whatever you call it. I don't know what you would call that, but a comparison, I guess. So we'll talk to you all later on the next one. Have a good one.